recording. I'm recording. Where are we, Em? Because I, I genuinely can't remember where we are. I know what we're going to find. We're going to find a copper mine, which is supposedly somewhere in this area. Tibblethwaite? I'll put it on the screen. Think fast. I can't see this. I can't see this. The sun. <laughs> I think that went in my hood. I've got it. Yeah, we're looking for a copper mine in this area. Uh, we're parked down here. Quite a few people here. There must be some other some other fell walks around us. Need some. Whoa. Maybe it's because you don't like it, the yellow. Put your skills away. <laughs> Come on, <laughs> put your skills down. Oh, too busy, goodness. too busy in skills to actually climb. <laughs> wow, the sun is boiling. Em's not very good at climbing. She always gets into a state of uh, panic. Often I've had to give her a lot of encouragement to get up rocks like these. She often hits a brick wall and just stops moving completely. And then we stand there for half an hour contemplating our life decisions until she eventually decides to come down. I often have to bait her off the edge with her a couple of grapes or something, or maybe some skittles, he'll get her off the edge. <laughs> it's, Dave. it's Dave the sheep. Again. Hello. Hello. <laughs> get away, man. <laughs> are not stable. These slates are not stable at all. There's a really cold breeze coming from this hole. It's really, really cold breeze from coming inside there. Still not sure where we are, sort of just walking blind at this point. Just hear water on our right down this hillside. Sounds like we're coming up to um, a stream that drops into that at the moment. So we might have a little river crossing to jump over here. I think it's inside the valley rather than 
on the outside of it. Sums really came out today though. So we'll carry on. Plenty of daylight left to find it. It's starting to feel the heat though. The views are insane. <laughs> Look at all the peaks that you can see. It's really strange as well because like we're boiling, but we can see uh, snow on the peaks over there. Yeah, I was thinking that before. Are we going in, Em? It looks spacious. Spacious. Kind of. Three bedroom towels with an ensuite. suite. Yeah, the torch is on the go. It's not, too, it's not too, it's quite shallow, but I think we can step in stone this. Whatever you say, boss. It's definitely the end of the line, though. Oh, I just thought it was Yeah. If you don't look, you don't know. <laughs> For God's sake. <laughs> oh, of like the entrance. I think we should go back over there and go back to the trail. It's only we don't have to go back down that thing that we climbed up. Just need to go over the other way. We need to go left instead of right. Found it. <laughs> <laughs> so we were over the top edge of that, right on the other side. We normally end up going the wrong way first time. Cold? Stand to the side a sec, so I can see how far this points. Yikes! Is that that gate? The gate? Didn't you fucking get it? Oh yeah. So we're coming up to a... Um, there's a gate just in front of us here. Oh, it is really uh, stuck in the mud there. And it's really sludgy there. Do not enter. <laughs> Danger, hazardous area. I mean, look at that. That's holding it on. Okay. 
this point forward, we need to be very, very, as little movement as we can so we don't disturb anything. Because I have no idea what these pipes are. I don't know how far this is going to go and follow the video that we watched. We should get to like here. I don't really know what it is, but it's like a, where they used to store the rubble. There's loads of like sandbags filled with everything that they've dug out. I'm hoping the camera's picking this up. The lighting seems pretty good for what we've got on us right now. Um, but the camera picks it up in a totally different way. Being between stuff like this, I just don't like it. Eh? Do you not have the same feeling? Sort of. Because this it is just. Takes one thing to... I know. Because this is just full. All these bags, and they're put there for one purpose, and that's to stop things falling. I just, I just don't have a, a nice feeling. Like I don't mind walking through an open cave, but when it's like this, and it's been and like, like, yeah. So we're deciding to turn around because when you're here, you know, you just, you have a, a gut feeling about things. That's pretty much how we gauge where we go. Um, but I definitely didn't like the way that was feeling being between those sandbags and bags of rubble. Um, I would much prefer to get out of here in one piece rather than disturb things that have actually been put there to, well, fold all that up into position, really. Mm 
Oh, and that is a nice sight to see. Should we go on to the grass in there?